Hey there, welcome to class. This is a super quick dynamic stretching routine. You can do this one anytime throughout the day, but we're not gonna stay in poses for a long time. We're just gently touching the body in all areas. So those areas can wake up. So it's great for the morning or they can be reactivated throughout the day. Or you can also use this to wind down in the evening. We'll start in a standing position at the back of the mat. You don't even need a mat. Uh, standing forward fold at the back of the mat. You can also do this on the carpet or wherever. Grab opposite elbows, just let the head, the upper body hang heavy. Usually if you're sitting for a long time, if you do this midday or in the end of the day, then this, this stretch already feels intense but in the beginning but does wonders for the body do your best to keep the legs mostly straight so we are lengthening the entire superficial back line of the body even if that means you cannot fold as deep that's not the point we just want to touch all the areas now bring the fingertips down to the ground and bend the legs come to a squat straighten the legs come to a forward fold Come to a squat, forward fold. Maybe the heels lift in your squat, that's fine. Let's do one more. Very good. Start to, from that squat now, set the knees down. Move the hips forward, open the chest, bring the arms back. Kind of like a camel pose, but very active. So we're just opening pulling the hands, the arms back, so you might feel a stretch inside your arms. That's perfect. And then we come back, try to not use your hands, lift the knees, come into a squat. Let's do three more just like that. It's also really nice for the toes, for the ankles. Engage the glutes as you come forward and as you're opening the chest. Last one. Very good. Come to a squat. Come onto all fours, tabletop. The shoulders right above the wrists. Make three circles to the right. Really feeling into the wrists. And then three circles to the left. Very good. Tabletop again, untuck the toes, just two rounds of cat-cow, round your back. For cat, from the base of the spine, roll upwards for cow. And then back to cat, from the base of the spine up. One more. and send it back to a child's pose. Deep breaths into the belly, into the back. Just two more. And walk the hands back. Push yourself back up. Let's step the left foot forward for a low lunge. You can gently move the hips forward and back. Just to open up the front side of the right hip. And then come into half splits. Move the left foot forward, stay on the left heel, straighten the leg, flex the foot, fold forward and down. And then instead of just going as deep as you can, go to a depth where you feel a good sensation and then start to rotate the foot and the thigh and the shin to the left and to the right. Just a little activation practice today. No need to find your new end range in this 
half splits. Very good. Rebend the left knee for runner's lunge. And then heel toe the left foot to the left for lizard lunge. Let's open the hips a bit more to so just move around so it's very dynamic. Keep that breath going, of course. This is your foundation and that provides the stability as we go through all these movements. It's really all about feeling your body and reactivating it. Because if you're sitting a long time at your desk, you might not feel all of a sudden your hips anymore. All right, come onto the fingertips. To make it more challenging or to go deeper, bring the hands forward. To make it more gentle, bring the hands back. We start to straighten both legs, send the hips back and bend. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Back to lizard lunge, bend the front leg, set the right foot down with your left hand reach for that foot. Grab the pinky toe side, extend the foot away, the leg away from you, and then pull that foot gently towards your hips. And release. Very good. Now bring that right knee right behind the left heel and then step the left foot back. We're sitting down for a 90-90 position. So bring the front leg and the back leg at a 90 degree angle. And then fold forward and down over your right leg. And you can with your arms frame the, the knee and the foot. If accessible, if not, then just stay wherever you are, wherever you're at. We all have to work with what we got today. So if that means you're here, perfect. Move around. Always the invitation, especially in a practice like this, to move and just feel. Very good. Push yourself back up. Keep the legs at a 90, 90 degree angle both legs lean a little bit more towards the front right so that you can keep both knees on the ground especially the left knee and then lift your left ankle up off the ground and we're just going for five four three two one we hold for five four three two one very good Let's slowly release, bend both legs a lot, bring the hands down, step the right foot back into a tabletop, then sit on the heels and we step the right foot forward to do the other side. Super simple in terms of the sequence and the transitions, but very beneficial. Move the hips forward and back, just feel in your own body, feel the left front side of the hip, notice what's lengthening, see how it feels, what kind of quality does this sensation have. Very good. And then straighten the right leg, fold forward. Move the leg around, externally and internally rotate. Runner's lunge, rebend the right knee, place both hands on the ground, lift your left knee up, heel toe the right foot to the right. Continue in this lizard lunge, moving the hips around.
Very good. Come onto your fingertips. Again, you decide where you place those fingertips. Straighten both legs and the hips back. The right ball of the foot lifts up. Rebend the right knee for five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Back to lizard lunge. Bring that left knee right behind. Actually, first set the left knee down. Almost forgot that one. And then bend the left leg with your right hand. Reach back. Extend the leg away from you first. Feel the pull. And then gently pull that foot towards your hips. Focus on lengthening the entire front body, especially on the left side of the upper front body, from the knee up the thigh, up the hip, up the upper body. On your exhale, release back to lizard lunge. And now we step the left knee right behind the right heel. Sit down, bring the right leg back, and bring your legs into a 90-90 position. Once you're there, fold forward and down over your left leg. This position is amazing. There's so much very cool mobility work you can do if you're more interested in, or if you find yourself having tight hips and you want to work more on mobility of the hips and all the other joints as well, then check out the mobility training playlist I'll link it up in the video, also below in the description. Move around. And rise up. Keep both knees on the ground. Lean a bit more to the left front of the mat. Keep the right knee on the ground, lift the right ankle up and lower. For five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. And release. Bend both legs a lot. Come back to a tabletop position. And then sit on the heels. From there you move forward to a sphinx pose. Bring the feet wide apart. Look straight ahead, relax the shoulders down. The invitation to move around. I like to go left and right. Also look with my head over my right shoulder towards the right heel and then the other side. One more each side. Very good. If you feel like going deeper here, then straighten your arms, but no need to. I sometimes do just a, a few times straightening and bending the arms to make it more dynamic, as this is the focus of the practice today. And then just move in a way that feels good. Avoid any sharp pain as always. Don't push it. This is not the practice to, to go hard. Very good. Let's finish up with a twist to both sides. Release the chest down. Two options, you can keep the right arm straight out to the side or you bend the arm 90 degrees. Straight arm is a bit more gentle, arm bend is pretty intense. Maybe try it, but if it's getting too intense, then back off. Especially with the shoulder in this direction, uh, don't push it. I keep the arm bent because I do this every day. But if you don't, then maybe don't bend the arm. And then we bring the left leg up and over the right leg. So you're coming into a twist with the spine and you're also stretching the shoulder. Almost forgot to say it because it feels so good now. Really got absorbed in this delicious feeling. Slowly release, come back onto the belly. 
and let's switch sides arms um, straight or cactus arms as we like to call it 90 degrees bent and then bring the right foot up and over try to reach back more with the right knee to open up the spine and the hips more and release very good shake out the hips left and right and then push yourself back up to a seat now this is the end of this video of this practice but it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that your practice uh, for right now will end as well I highly encourage you to continue with some gentle breath work or with some energizing breath work if it's morning time and you really want some some good energy then uh, continue with that you can also continue now with your meditation practice on your own or with a guided meditation that we have here on the channel for example our full meditation program or you come onto your back nice shavasana so many options up to you how you continue I appreciate the last 15 minutes we spent together. Thank you for letting me share my practice with you. And I'll see you in the next one. Love and gratitude. Namaste.